A family says their loved one was stabbed last Thursday because of his race. However, police say they have no reason to believe that's the case. 18 year old Maurice Greer is currently recovering from cuts to his neck. News 18's Anna Darling talked to both sides today. Justice for Tay Tay. Maurice Tay Tay Greer gathered with his family at the Marathon Gas Station on Ferry Street to pray. Praying for justice, praying that God will heal him and his injury. Greer is recovering after being stabbed in the neck last Thursday night. According to prosecutors, he was riding his bike in the alley behind the gas station when David Engstrom attacked him. Greer's aunt, Ann Barneswell, spoke on behalf of the family. We want justice to be done. This guy, the police did get him at the scene. He's uh, incarcerated still, and they are calling it a battery. We are calling it attempted murder. Engstrom is facing charges of aggravated battery, battery by means of a deadly weapon, battery resulting in serious bodily injury, and criminal recklessness. The family and the local NAACP believe this was also racially motivated. Through the comments of the young man, Tay Tay, the man stated to him something happened with a friend of his some years ago and he was getting revenge to any N-word that came before him. Lafayette police are still investigating this incident. Sergeant Ian O'Shields says they don't have any reason to believe this was a racist act. It was a random act. We don't believe that it was racially motivated whatsoever. Neither knew each other. There was no words exchanged. LPD does believe a mental illness may be behind Engstrom's actions. Greer is working to move on with the strength of his loved ones around him. He's very afraid right now. We don't want him to be because we want him to believe and to see that justice is being done. Anna Darling, News 18.